I decided to start my day off right with a run. So, two miles, I'm done. I have to get ready for work. And we are off, or I am off. If you're watching this, you are probably sitting at home doing nothing, and I envy you. So I bought my dad a very large Christmas present, and it is located not far from my grandparents' house. So tonight, I am driving to the Bay Area under the guise that I am doing laundry so that I can pick up the Christmas present I bought for my dad. I kind of wish I had started doing my Christmas shopping earlier on because even though it's only November 13th, I feel a little bit under the gun to get all my Christmas shopping did. Because I don't want to have to go digging for new items online because everything I want to get for people is sold out. That would suck. I also need to start making some more headway on the possibility of film school and do my financial research and my campus trips. Really need to figure out what school I want to go to and what direction I want to take and start researching applications in the field for someone who will have a degree like mine because I do not want to be sad and broke for the rest of my life. I've discovered that there comes a point when you decide that not only do you want a degree, you need it. And that is really pushing me forward now. I realize now that when I dropped out of school, it was because I had become comfortable and complacent in the life I lived. I'm not that way anymore. I have a newfound drive to go do things. I have a really strong desire to make something better. I want to be able to have all the tools I need to create. So going to film school or something feels good. It feels good to want that, to have that kind of drive again. Sort of rediscovering my mojo, if you will. Today when I went out for a run, I decided to listen to an audiobook instead of listening to music. When I was running, I caught myself thinking about the way I want to take some of my musical projects now. I've caught myself thinking about projects in a more frugal and objective manner. Like I approach everything with the knowledge that every action I take is going to have an opposite reaction. If I spend this money now on this, I can't use it later on that. And that has really changed my mindset. If I pay off this amount of my credit card bill this month, next month I can use that regained financial freedom to pursue this. And it's made me feel much better about the way I'm approaching many, many things. I'm once again interested in pursuing knowledge, once again interested in pursuing health. Also, for whatever reason, I feel very lively today. I feel well rested and energized and excited, and that feels good. That's a really good feeling. It's almost like a high. But I have a longer shift today. I am going to be here until about 8 o'clock tonight. So I will see you at some undetermined time. So, it's about 8 hours later. I'm at my grandparents' house. So I did that thing where I got off work and I drove straight out here. Sorry I didn't keep you updated. Sorry there was no time lapse either. Dang, would you look at that moon? That's a real bright moon. Dang. There's no low carb snacks here. And I'm hungry. I'm just gonna drink water and go to bed. Sorry today's video wasn't fun. <laughs> Good night, guys.